Alright man, so Trey Mason has returned to football. Now if you don't know why this is a big deal, if you're not familiar with Trey's story, at the end of this video, make sure you check out my What Happened to Trey Mason video. I go through his whole story in detail, talk about what happened to him and how he ultimately ended up out of the NFL and out of football. Now that video is filled with facts and some opinions and theories about what may have transpired or what may have triggered the um, the outburst by Trey. So the short version of it is this. Trey was playing with the Rams, doing pretty well early in his NFL career. Then seemingly all at once, he just started this weird erratic behavior. That behavior led to a string of arrests in a small period of time, which eventually led to him getting released by the Rams and being out of the NFL. Now this was back in 2015. A couple of my theories were that this could have been a CT E related issue we've seen things like this especially with running backs in the past or that it could have been like an underlying mental disorder the reason I jumped to those two drastic things is just because the weird stuff he was doing bro it was just so out of bounds it was just way too deep to chalk up to like immaturity or anything like that and his mom was saying she didn't even recognize him at this point but anyway earlier today it was announced that he has signed with a CFL team now as far as I know the CFL is relatively strict so I have to think that they've definitely done all the psychoanalysis or whatever they needed to do and I guess they've determined that it wasn't CTE based I mean I know they would have had to do their homework on that because if that was the case in returning to football don't seem like a good idea at all so assuming that they did do that homework and that Trey is good he maybe had like a mental breakdown I don't know but whatever it is is in the past physically like this whole time he's been out he's been working out with nfl players and they've all said that physically he looked like he could step on the field you know at any point they just had to make sure the mental was good so it's dope to see him back now it is interesting i will point out the cfl team that he joined another former rams running back is on that same team zach stace now if you recall trey's kind of weird behavior started shortly after the rams drafted Todd Gurley obviously that's a completely different situation you already on the team and they bring somebody in versus you joining the team with somebody else so I guess I'm looking at that as a positive it's somebody up there that's obviously been in the league playing the same team you know what I'm saying somebody can go up there and kind of click up with to you know just stay right mentally man and I hope he's treating whatever the situation is and just doing whatever he needs to do to stay balanced now this dude is only 24 years old and the more i see these cats going signing the cfl the more i kind of get excited for these uh the xfl and i think the aafl is what it's called um these new leagues that are supposed to be starting up in 2019 giving these players that we want to see back on the field so bad a chance to play over here in this country either way man i wanted to update y'all on trey bro congrats to him hopefully he can make the best out of this situation but that's all i got for you today don't forget to like the video, click the thumbs up button. My name is Flumlo Raps. Wow. Yeah.